dear students today i will be showing you a case of head injury with the brain hemorrhage for which craniotomy was done this this is a suture uh, you can see the suture the c shaped suture on the scalp that you can see uh, in this case uh, uh, part of the skull bone was preserved in the layers of the abdomen okay so uh, in then uh, see so this is a uh, suture mark on the right side of the abdomen see now i will be removing the sutures and uh, underlying you will be seeing the skull bone flap of skull bone okay so so this is a skull bone removed from the abdomen so it was preserved in the layers of the abdomen so that later on on it can be kept over the uh, skull okay so this was the uh, one case now i will be showing you another case which was uh, published in the adesh university journal of medical sciences and research or own university journal okay again uh, uh, this is the same thing Uh, that skull bone flap was preserved in the layers of the abdomen but the unusual things that happened in this case so again see the, this is sutures on the abdomen you can see then in the next photograph this sutures were removed and the piece of skull bone emerging out and then third photograph the complete skull bone is out so that uh, special thing that happened in this case is uh, uh, because this was a case of head injury Uh, there was a contusion on the brain and patient condition was very serious and it was a case of a roadside accident and the patient expired and then the body was sent for post mortem examination but uh, uh, by chance what happened uh, the doctor who was conducting the post mortem he was not aware of this procedure that uh, for head injury during operation neurosurgeon keeps the part of the bone in the layers of the abdomen so just casually just casually he informed to the patient uh, not patient like diseased relatives that uh, uh, some operation on the abdomen has been done and the relatives got furious because they said that there was no injury to the abdomen the injury was on the head so they thought that wrong operation has been done on their uh, patient and so they all got uh, together uh, in front of the hospital and raised a lot of hue and cry and it took a lot of time for the neurosurgeon to explain that it is a routine procedure that nothing wrong has been done okay the skull bone flap has been preserved in the layers of the abdomen just so that uh, later on it can be kept back this fact was properly mentioned documented in the hospital record also but somewhere there was lack of the communication between the neurosurgeon and the patient relative although neurosurgeon had explained but uh, somewhere there was lack okay uh, so uh, in this article i had shown uh, i have mentioned the medical legal aspects so this is the medical legal aspects that sometimes this thing happens that things are documented but are not communicated properly so that's what happened uh, in the case which is published uh, although that it was the fact was mentioned that bone flap is kept in the layers of the abdomen but it was not properly communicated and the, the casual reply by the autopsy surgeon uh, had led to a lot of problem so doctors we should be very careful and thank you very much thank you